I had a dream the other night. Alexis and I were driving in a car. We weren't going far. She was holding hands with Austin Butler. That's a true dream. Who is related to Ashley Tisdale? Austin Butler? Is related to Ashley Tisdale? They're like 10th cousins or something like that. Really? Yeah. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions to Corbin. I'm Austin Butler. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for following us. How are you doing? Good. Good. Ah. Uh, uh, the two, the, the two, ne- the two. I'm excited for next that I want to see that are on the list before I, the Globes because those are in in a, in a couple weeks and then Oscar noms are coming. Yeah, the whale. Yeah, I need to see the whale and the Fablemans. Uh, yeah, hearing some good stuff about the yeah. Fablemans. I mean, it's Spielberg. Spielberg. Um. Anyways, today we got a new trailer from a teaser from our Dosti of Dose on your Kashyap. Dun 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 dun. Oh, that's Big B, but that music applies because it's legendary, and so is on your Uh, he has a new film coming out February twenty third. Oh. Uh, no, February third of twenty twenty. Of twenty twenty three. It's called. Read this. Almost Pyar, which I believe means almost love, with <laughs> DJ Mohabat. Um, and it's a. Another dosty of dosed, uh, Amit Trivedi is composing it. Lovely. Did you ever see the uh, rom com with Little B and Tapsy? Did you ever end up watching? Yes, it? you and did. Loved it. Okay, good. Yes, um, I thought it was wonderful. Which was the another collaboration between Amit Trivedi and Anya Akashi. Yes, uh, that style of film. And I, I don't know if this is a rom com, but it. Um, It'll have those two in it, and I'm excited to have an, uh, another Anya Kashyap uh, film always yep. uh, coming out. And the reason we didn't react to this immediately, it, it didn't have subs right away, which was weird. Uh, so it's been out a few days. And like then, the French Navy. And then they finally added the subs. The company did. I don't know why you just don't add subs immediately. I just, It just doesn't make sense to me. Me too. But here we go. So it is going to be a, uh, I don't know if it's calm, but it's rom in terms of romance. rom drum Buddy? Is I it a rom dramedy? I didn't get a lot of comedy out of it. I didn't either at all. <laughs> but no. I mean, I, would you, I guess there was some haha moments in, in that, that other one. Uh, there there uh, were a few. But, but also, it was, that's far more rom drum. Rom drum. Yeah, rom drum. <laughs> uh, music sounded really cool. No. Shock by yeah. uh, Ahmed Trivedi there, but it looks like it's going to probably have its more grounded, intense, sad moments mm-hmm. than more of a calm moment, which makes sense with Anwar Kashyap. If he's going to tell a come romance story, it's going to be more grounded in reality. Uh, also, the fact that he's introducing, yeah, uh, which I know he's done a, a lot in his career, but he's kind of going into this with not really a star name there, no, or somebody because he something he's ever really. Kind of no, he really tried to. He didn't care about that. What I find intriguing about that is the trust level because he's told us face to face he really needs to wait before he works with somebody. Yeah, it, it's typically a one or two year getting to know you process before he's willing to trust you with one of his creative <laughs> endeavors. So I, I'm assuming there's a long 
trust factor either directly with the actor or people around that actor because mm. that's from his own his own lips which is understandable when, when you're working with people you <laughs> that's why relationships are the number one reason in both indian and hollywood industries it's relationships who you like to work with and who you can trust to work with that's interesting so the the poster here has like cassette tapes as as in the poster for with both of them in it mm -hmm. is that both of them in different it looks like different times yeah like his kids and then well he said he doesn't look like a kid there no so yeah so i, I don't know um it'd be super and, interesting and what are the colors it's almost like ludo mm -hmm. in terms of like the board game mm -hmm. uh I, I, I honestly have no clue. This looks like a very, I mean, I don't want to say totally different because obviously he did that film. Right. That, that we, I can't pronounce the name for the life of me of that film uh, with uh, Tapsy and, and, and Little B. Right. Um, but. My the, suspicion is that's what it's going to be. But A drama romance. Yes. But that's the lovely thing about especially this kind of genre is you people anticipate the darker, weirder side to come out with Anya Rug. When it's something like this, it's very exciting because I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get because he's definitely not predictable. And especially when he's like, I'm, I'm not relying on star power. I'm outside of his name, obviously. His name carries certain exactly. weight of... A huge draw. Um, with people that like him. Um, <laughs> he's also said that he's like made a career out of flops like his films don't do well until like two or three years down the line yeah uh when people revisit and um did it say it's getting theatrical it just said coming soon to, i don't remember seeing a specific Ooh. oh it's gonna it is says it, the exclusive streaming partner is netflix but does is that obviously after its theatrical run or is that going right away in Doesn't, cinemas in on cinema. February fourth. Okay, great. Good. Um, it's I'm, I'm going to be super interested how this next year goes, right? Mm -hmm. Because of how abysmal, m I'd say most Indian films did in theaters this year, but particularly Hindi. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, it was all they, over. But they yeah, took the brunt of it. Hindi obviously took a big hit f in its smaller films. Which like I this. saw the, I saw something about another remake. Yeah, that's what I'm super interested to know. How many remakes are we going to get? Because less. I'd imagine a lot of them are going to be extremely scared and hesitant. Absolutely. Uh, to put out a remake uh, film in, in 2023. Yeah. And Even so, with a big name attached. Which is which is good i obviously i i like original content and, and coming up with your own thing uh nothing again i think there's been really good remakes that have been made i think last year i mean i think certain remakes got remade that i think were better than the original like in jersey i mm -hmm. think shahid's jersey was uh, overall film wise a better film uh than the original jersey um but obviously did did abysmal at at the box office and uh i i know his film which was i, I we didn't uh in a because it didn't come here dubara his mm. film of last year right but some people said it was a partial adaption of a of spanish film or something like that. right i remember that um obviously didn't do well at all yeah from Veta didn't do what they were expecting even though it's a big action film didn't do what they were expecting with rithic at the helm right i like i'm super interested how like if we're gonna get a bunch of more a much more original content which uh, Karen Johar was talking about in the, that's exactly in the, in who the I'm thinking table. of. Yeah, and he's coming out with a film. He's like, put a film out with conviction. Yes, and people will go see it, or or they won't. Exactly. But, Just believe in your story and make your story, and that's that's what you get with Anurag, and that's a true artist. Yeah, you, you have a story you want and need to tell, and you're going to tell it, and if it does well, that's wonderful because you'll get a the whole world of artists typically has never done it for the money and made the money much later or after they were gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's typically the life of an artist. Yeah, absolutely. All disciplines. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, super interested to see the trailer. Uh, obviously, anything on your Kashyap does, we are interested in. Of course. Uh, he's one of the best directors 
in the world, I think. He's he's an absolutely brilliant director. Yep. Um, and writer, obviously. Um, so let us know what you thought about this, if you were excited for this, and what else, uh, which we are next on you, because we still have a lot more of his films we do. that we've never seen before. Yep. Uh, including Bombay Velvet. <laughs> I'm still super I interested in it. I, I can't, wait, can't to, wait to watch that. Yeah, me that's, too. that's one of my most anticipated we haven't yeah. seen is just be, Bombay. Just because of the, the <laughs> reception, <laughs> the hate that it gets. The, yeah. Like yeah, how bad it bombed. It's, like, it definitely is the one, put an asterisk by it, even for him. I remember when we were having breakfast with him yeah. and we were talking about it. It just brings a smile to his face because it's got this mythical status now as this, <laughs> the weirdness yeah. For his filmography, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> anyways, but what obviously he has more than I know. He has the, the a, a boxing one that a lot of people really, really. Mm-hmm. It was one of his earlier ones. That, we want to see everything um, he's ever made. But uh, let us know what his next film should be, and if you're excited for this, down below. <laughs>